Hello and welcome. This is video number four and we're going to talk about how to schedule your content in advance. Let's say, for example, that you're going to create the next few months or the next few weeks of content today or even this week. So let's say you create a post. So what you do is whether it's articles, video or audio or, or any type of content, what you do is you go to posts, you click on add new posts, you enter the title, you add the content, and then you tell the system. So that you tell the system by clicking this right here, it's actually gonna say publish immediately, but you're gonna click edit, and then you're gonna choose the date. And then when you're done, you simply click okay. Now, before I do that, I wanna say, how do you know exactly what this time is matched to in terms of time zone? Well, to know that, you can simply go down to settings, go to general, and you can set your time zone there. So it could either be your own time zone or maybe a time zone that you choose. That way you know exactly whenever you schedule that, you know that is gonna be released on that day at a specific time. Otherwise, if you don't know what time zone that you're using, you're just guessing. So once you're done, you can simply click on schedule and that is it. So that's all it is in terms of auto scheduling your posts. The same with pages, this, it's the exact same thing, all right? Okay, now let's talk about image optimization. I briefly talked about this in the first video where I talked about how a lot of times if you have too many images that are just way too big, it'll actually slow down your WordPress site. And we want to speed the site up as fast as we can. So to do that, you want to go under plugins, add new and type in these plugins. The first one is called short pixel. And this is the one here. So it says speed up your website and boost your SEO by compressing old and new images. So if you click on more details, you can get a better idea. You can see that the last update was one week ago. And this is actually one of the high recommended image optimization plugins out there. All right. So if we take a look at the live site and go under pricing, you can see that it does offer a free level. So 200 images a month basically means that if you upload anywhere between like 100 to maybe 200 images, then the free level is just for you. But if you upload, let's say a thousand images per month, then you are gonna need a higher level. So we can see here, you know, the costs and all that. So it's only 499 a month if you wanna upload up to 10,000 images. Kraken.io is another one. And uh, this is something that we've used as well. And it's really good. It's very cheap as well. But actually short pixel I think is actually cheaper. And then the next one is called EWWW Image Optimizer. And you can find that here. And you can see the last update was 16 hours. This is actually made by a company that produces a lot of really good plugins, but they constantly come out with really, really fantastic updates. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let's install it. And we'll click on activate. And after you've activated it to get to it, like I said, it's either under tools or settings. It's under the settings link here under short pixel. And to activate it, you simply need to get your API key to get your API key for free. You simply enter your email here and your API key, and you can actually utilize this. Okay. So once that is done, you simply enter your email, you click save and it immediately brings you to this page and it, it immediately creates an API key for you. Now we have compression type. It will tell you exactly what this is. So lossy 
compression. It says offers the best compression rate. This is recommended for most users. And then we have glossy and then we have a lossless. So by default, we're just going to leave everything by the default settings like so. Click on save changes. Now, when it comes to actually setting it so that it's optimizing your images, what you need to do is go to your media library and you'll see bulk short pixel. And what this will do is it'll go through all of your existing library of images and it will actually optimize all of those images for you. So you can do this, or if you simply just want to optimize certain images, you can go to your library and you can do them one by one by one. Okay, so if I go to over here, you can see on the right hand side, it says optimize now. So if you click that, it's going to optimize that image. And that's all you have to do. So it's actually easier if you just do it with the bulk short pixel. And then any image after that, it'll automatically optimize as well. That's it. And let's move on to the next video.